Hello, um, my name is David Glenn. Uh, this is uh, what you're looking at here is Blender. Uh, I'm making a model for uh, Mika Mika Dance, or at least uh, demoing how to build a model here. This happens to be a torso body. This is the uh, kind of rough uh, version of the model, the un uh, smoothed out version. All the normals are kind of scattered in each vertex, so uh, I'm going to go in here and smooth things out. Uh, if I can find the slot. Right there. And there we are, nice and smooth. Now I'm going to try to use a... Uh, well, the next thing, of course, I'm going to have to... Uh, this is only half the torso. What you're looking at is a result of a modifier that is in Blender. And so one of the things we want to do, after we check it out make sure everything's cool, is I'm going to put this into object mode and I'm going to hit apply on the modifier. And now we have a complete model. You look at this and everything fits in this cool okay now I'm gonna go and try this plug-in now I haven't had too much success with this plug-in and so I'm gonna give it another try when I can find it there it is oh, one thing I want to do is put it into object mode again just in case no, next one. There we go. And we're going to go through and try to locate. Now, I've tried to do this before, and I get this very odd error. And one of the hopes is by demonstrating it this way that I can get some feedback on what I did wrong. I know I did something wrong. And there is the error, and I have no idea what it is. So the first attempt trying to do it, make a uh, model directly, is a failure. Okay, now I'm going to use a more conventional way of of uh, g generating the uh, or making the model work in Mika Mika Dance. Um, this I know works, and that is exporting it to DirectX. To do this, I'm going to need the services of the uh, PMD editor. Now, the PMD editor is written mostly in Japanese. Uh, I happen to be lucky; I got the one that's mostly written in English. And that's the one that you should use. But uh, first, we're going to save the file in DirectX format. There we go. It was successful. I got a close up here of the uh, PMD editor is basically made up of uh, two windows. There's other dialogs, but we won't get into that here. This is not a les lesson in uh, how to use PMD. We go to import, hit uh, X, uh, file X, uh, hit female body number two because that's the one I want to load up. And I just hit that key and uh, First thing you notice, we got virtually an invisible character. Uh, something really odd happens to uh, the importing of meshes or sh or, or uh, colors. And we're just going to fix that. 
Let's set the ambient and diffuse. We're going to make it the same color, but I'm going to make it a little lighter. And I'm going to set the spectacular. <coughs> the speckler. <coughs> Pardon me. Something different. And there, it's a whole lot better model. Another thing you'll notice is that uh, we're kind of in the grid, and you will see <coughs> there's a consequence to that later on. And we'll go ahead and we'll save it. I think we'll save it over at the. <coughs> I think we'll say where uh, Mika Mika Dance is at, if I can find it. There it is. Under User Files, under Models. And there's one down here that, uh, let's see, we'll use one of the ones down on the bottom because those didn't work out. Let's make a PMD. Now let's do that, and we're done. Now we're going to test it at Mika Mika Dance itself. And this is sort of the proof of the pudding. Um, I'm going to pre already assume that you know how to use the PMD editor in this case. That's why I kind of went through this and didn't go through, use a more complete model or go into the complete detail. I figure that uh, you know, when I have a better understanding how to use the PMD editor, I will uh, obviously know how to deal with this. Of course, this says the model is made in Japan, so has a Japanese character set. Oh, and uh, here's the uh, little problem I was going to tell you about. That was kind of hinted to earlier that we're in the grid, and this was because in the Blender model. The blender model is halfway into the grid. Oops. Probably should have raised it up. Oh well. Life lesson. We could just easily go in there and we'll... Let's see. Select the model. And go move. Just raise it up. Like so, and then register it. Otherwise, if you go to play, it'll just go right down to the grid again. Not what do you really want to do? And of course, you can rotate this thing around. Everything is functional. There's no bones to it because we did not add any in the PMD editor. This is just a torso. Now, bones will be added later. And while I'm at it, oops, I'm going to change the lighting around here so you can get a kind of a better look all around for the model. Soon. the other control. Yes. That will do. And you can get uh, kind of has a nice sheen to it. Almost like a jumpsuit. I think that's why I picked blue. And now you'll we'll eventually we'll get to see the results of this. I hope you enjoyed the results. I sure did.
and here's basically the results. She, the figure is just rotating around. I do uh, uh, 360 on both uh, horizontally and vertically, and uh, that's basically about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that I have here. Uh, if you uh, have any suggestions, comments, um, I suggest uh, you uh, post it under the uh, thing and for YouTube and in my YouTube page. And thank you for watching.